Welcome to the SCM Accelerator's demo of the APO Demand Planning Change Log. Have you ever found yourself wanting to know why quantities changed in an APO planning book? Who changed them and when it was changed? Unfortunately, there is nothing native within APO that tracks this level of detail, but our team has developed a product that seamlessly fits into your APO platform to capture and view these changes. The Demand Plan Change Log Monitor, or DP Log for short, comes with four transactions to help set up, configure, monitor, and then remove log entries. The first transaction quickly builds the custom table structures in the background to match the planning object data design so your logs and entries can be stored. This is typically a one-time setup per planning area. The second transaction is used to configure the DP log to capture only the changes you deem important enough to save and monitor at a later date. On the first screen, Create new entries in the table for each planning area version combinations, and then select whether you want to log interactive changes, batch changes, or both. An interactive change would be one made within the planning book, while batch changes would be any update to the planning area done in the background, like a TS copy or a background macro execution. After selecting a row, double-click on the key figure folder to choose which key figures within the planning area should be logged. Most of you have quite a few key figures in your planning area, but you really only need to track a changes on a few. You can also set up which user-initiated changes get logged in this configuration screen. Set up the asterisks to mean all users, and then you can select whether their changes are logged, if they have display, and finally, if they have online delete access. Once this is done, the log is active and you will begin capturing data. Now that logging has been activated, Let's take a look at the online transaction that lets you and your teams view the log data in real time. This online query is broken up into a few sections to help you organize your search criteria. At the top is where you select the planning area and choose to filter data based on a specific user or set of users. This section is focused on what data has changed. You can filter by key figures, version, time buckets that were updated, as well as the set of CVCs. Click here on this button to see the standard CVC selection screen where you can manage your specific filter criteria. This area is used to narrow the selection down to when the change was made by the user. You can choose any combination of date and time or select one of these radio buttons to quickly select a date range. The last selection gives you the ability to choose to see log entries created via batch update, interactive, or both. Now let's see what the query results look like. You can see each row represents a unique update to time series quantities. Basic info like who, when, and where is on the left, followed by the old, new, and delta quantities, and finally the specific CVC where the change was made out here to the right. Note that these entries were made interactively, which is why the batch column is blank. If these changes had been made in the background, there would be an X in this space. To show these changes, how these changes are captured in real time, let's go over to the planning book and log some new changes. I've already pulled up a specific selection profile and I'm ready to make some quantity changes. I'll enter a few values in fields and then save my work. When I go back to our query results, I can simply hit the refresh button and see my latest changes right at the top. The detail of the select CVC level is out to the right telling me exactly where the change was made, effectively telling the story of the change itself. The log captures not only characteristics, but also navigational attribute levels. The last transaction is a, of the set is a delete program that leverages the same flexible query capability as the main monitor. Knowing that these log entries will build up significantly over time, the most common use case for this transaction is to set a query that selects all entries past a certain age, say 30 days from today. In this case, my variant looks at the full horizon of data and will select any entry created up to 30 days in the past. You can choose to run this in simulation mode to assess how many entries will be removed, or run it in standard mode with a final option to generate a report of those entries that were actually deleted, if you wish. In closing, the DP Log provides a robust set of features to help improve your organization's demand planning process. Change record logging has helped organizations identify forecast bias, improve forecast maintenance cycle time, user participation, and general system support troubleshooting. Thanks for taking some time to check out our DP change log. If you have wanted to know the history of how quantities are changing in your planning book, drop us an email and we'd be happy to give you a personal demo and show you even more features of this powerful tool. Thanks.